Hey everyone, so as you know, this past week, not just this week, but the past two weeks, uh, two weeks ago actually, a week ago this past Tuesday, um, the elections, vo the voting portion of it officially came to an end. And that the, um, the gathering of the votes, basically the, you know, f field tuning out of the votes, you know, you know, counting them and all that, um, has over the past 24 to 48 hours seemingly come to an end as well mostly with the um, house voting now the election the midterm elections wasn't just for you know, changes in Washington you know house and senate wise but also state wise as far as governors mayors state senate state house and all that and um, the main though the main uh, basically house and senate is in Washington which everybody kept their eyes on and a lot of people that have re that have basically uh, covered the elections from all the major outlets, whether they're you know Democratic supporters, Republican supporters, you know they don't have a favorite in this you know war, if you will, uh, this battle. Everybody pretty much said this is how it's going to go, and you know Joe Biden and his crew, Joe Biden and his team have to be prepared for it, and. What they projected exactly is what happened. And that is the fact that Republicans got the House by 218 to 211, if not more. And the Senate is being kept by the Democrats by barely one or two seats. And what this means basically is if I'm Joe Biden and I'm considering, you know, another run for presidency or I'm I'm even, you know, listening to my team. If my team is telling me, my, my own wife is telling me, hey, you should try for re-election. I might want to second-guess that, you know, decision. I might want to reconsider doing that. Because if, you know, the House is controlled by the Republicans, you know, and the Senate, you know, still is controlled by Democrats, but there's more Republicans there in place of, you know, former Democrat senators then um you know again i would not if i'm joe biden or if i'm any member of his team i would not consider a re-election you know or at least a run at re-election right now because you know we knew there was going to be a lot of changes happening a lot of news coming out of um these uh elections midterm elections you know becoming official you know with the votes and one of those big news items was Nancy Pelosi deciding that she's going to finally step down as House Speaker. She's not going to seek a, another term. And at the and at the for, and at the front runner right now, at the forefront, uh, Kevin McCarthy, who's also from California, like Nancy is, but he's a Republican, pretty much is a lock to take over as the new House Speaker. And what that means, if you listen to a lot of these outlets, because all of them kind of say the same thing, maybe differently. Um, what that means for the likes of Joe Biden, his son Hunter Biden. Um, what that means for them is they pretty much could be, you know, looking at years behind bars, or at least Hunter would be. And... That's because uh, Kevin McCarthy has made it clear that they, one of the first things they will try to do, or attempt to do, or will do, once, you know, the dust is settled on all this and, you know, we begin anew in 2023, if not right away, is um, they plan to basically put this investigation into gear and basically, you know, show the world what they've already known. What's been, with, you know, what the Democrats, what Biden's team and all of them have been trying to hide. You know, basically show them the evidence of, see, Biden had connections with China. You didn't think he did. And, you know, here's this, here's that. And that basically, you know, and that to me, like I said, does not, you know, spell a, a good op or a good chance for Joe to, um, you know, to basically get reelected, if at all. Because one of the, one of the, uh, I guess you could say things that was talked about among all these news outlets is if they do this and that looks like they want to this Kevin guy definitely looks like he's a man of action he wants to make it sure it gets done 
excuse me, is if they do this, there's the possibility of impeachment. And what that means by impeachment is that basically Joe Biden, before his term, his first term as president is up, he could be out. He could be out of the office and, you know, basically from a, um, I guess you could say position of power, that means Kamala Harris would be next in line. And heck, I even mentioned with my mom today, this morning, that it's better than nothing right now. You know, because she is a little bit more up to date. She is a little bit more understanding of the current generation and stuff go and current trends going on and all that, even from, even from a political view. So she might be better than nothing. But, Here's the thing, though. You know, if you think that it's just going to stop at Biden, you're wrong. Because there's a good chance they might say, okay, we got Biden done. Now let's check into Harris. Because remember, Harris brings in a lot of baggage, too. And if they find stuff on Harris where she knew about certain things, maybe the, you know, the under, maybe the, um, under the table business dealings that the Bidens had with China and so, and some, and somewhat and everything as well as other stuff like maybe she knew about the fraudulent you know um the fraudulent um controversy that surrounded the 2020 election period um she too could be out of power she too could be gone like you think she's gonna be the next in line if you know an impeachment happens but you know she could be probably pretty much kiss that goodbye and what that would mean is that would lead the guy that's leading the charge, or going to be leading the charge in this, Kevin McCarthy, as the next one in line. Because the position of power goes, President, if anything happens to President, Vice President. Anything happens to Vice President, House Speaker. And that would be Kevin McCarthy. And I know some people who are conspiracy theorists are already looking at that and thinking, well, all McCarthy wants to do is get power. He wants to be in charge. He wants to run the com you know, country his way. And, look, you can think, all, think that way all you want. But we also have to remember, this is a process. This is a process that's going to go back and forth between the Senate and the House. The Senate, being mostly Democrat, you know, is going to basically try to defend and say, we don't know what you're talking about. Biden's this way, Biden's that way. And with Pelosi still part of it, kind of in the background, an influencer, you know, she may want to say, look, Kevin, I, we don't know what you're talking about. There's no evidence and stuff. And Kevin could say, oh, really? What's this? But that's not the only investigation he would look into. It wouldn't just be, you know, the Bidens, maybe by extension Harris, maybe by extension Pelosi, but also Fauci, like Dr. Fauci, is always being looked at as somebody that uh, basically could potentially be investigated for not being honest with a lot of people. And, and, that's, and here's what's interesting. A lot of people look at the fact that Nancy's stepping down now, that the House has gone all Republican, and Dr. Fauci made his announcement that he's stepping away, he's retiring, obviously knowing that potentially that this was, was, this was going to be the direction, direction the House and the Senate was going to go. You know, they obviously saw that, hey, we can't remain in our positions because of these people, this party gets into power in the House, which is basically the final step before anything is you know, put onto the president's desk to be signed into law or signed into a bill to you know, help out the nation if it does, you know, they, they pretty much know that there's no way they'd be able to uh, get any of these people on the side or believe a word they said. I mean, this is, there's some Republicans, including one guy that's always been calling out Fauci for the fact that you've been lying to the people about how bad COVID really was. You've been hiding these secrets, da, 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 you know, it, it's basically, and it basically right now, it's an interesting time because you have these two people that a lot of folks criticize and say should have been gone a long time ago, even those that work at places like Newsmax, Fox News, some at NBC, ABC, you know, you name it. They say that, hey, these guys should have been gone a long time ago. You know, uh, you got these two people because of their age and people criticize them, criticizing them in that way. You know, basically probably seeing that, hey, if we remain here, you know, we're not we're not going to be able to get what we want. We're not going to be able to get anybody to believe what we say. So, yeah, things are definitely changing. And a lot of people have said that what Joe Biden is going to inherit, you know, at the end of the Thanksgiving holiday, if not in 2023, is a divided nation. Like, 
when he began, everything was in the palm of his hands. He's like, he could have his cake and eat it too, as well as have a little bit of dessert on the, a little bit more dessert on the side to go with it, or extra whipped cream to go along top of it. Well, now, you know, instead of having his cake and eating it too, all he could do is just look down and realize, I'm only going to be able to stare at this cake and not eat it unless I make the right decisions. And you know what what i sense here is kevin mccarthy his goal is not just to expose biden for who he is you know his son and joe himself but to also make everybody realize yeah i want to show you all this evidence here list off all this evidence me and the house do this does this actually equal up to what a leader should be or does it equal up to somebody that maybe should be stepping down retiring you know enjoying his life and all that and but also, doesn't it show that maybe this person that's at that age or at this position in their life may have been manipulated? You know, it, it's one of those situations that's, again, it'll be interesting to keep an eye on what happens. Because one of the things about politics, especially when it comes to Washington, and I don't know all about it either, but I do know that the way things are done, is that when something is voted, in, when something is proposed as a new law or a new bill, it has to be voted on majority-wise in the Senate before it goes to the House. And the House then has to say, okay, we like what we saw, and vote for it, and then send it to the President. But if there's any division, like, oh, well, the Senate agrees on it, and then they're going to send it to the House, the House, now being a Republican, may say, no, 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 this is what you want, what we want is for the people. So, here. Take this back, revise it, make sure it's for the people. In other words, the House's message to the Senate now is going to be, think Republican Democrats. Democrats start thinking Republican, not Democratic. That, that's basically what I think I think is going to be the uh, interesting thing to watch because there's going to be a lot of things that the Democrats in the Senate are going to want to pass because they feel it's the right thing to do. But in the end, the Republicans are going to refuse and say no. Revise, think public, think, start thinking along the lines of a Republican. And that's it. And that's it. And Kevin McCarthy is going to make sure of it. He's going to make sure of it, along with again trying to figure, trying to get the truth finally out there. And what's interesting is you have a lot of people. A lot of people that are going to be watching this and heard what others have had to say. And you got a lot of people that are democratic, that are left wing, that are SJW, that are woke people. You know, they're seeing what's going on, they're seeing this change. And in their minds, this is my speculation, mere speculation on my part, but in their minds, they're looking at this and they're realizing, oh beep, you know, our time's done, or oh beep, we're screwed. Because you can already see kind of like the process going on. With you know, at you know, companies like Twitter and Warner Bros. Discovery, despite how you feel about those individuals running things now, they're making changes there because they realize that hey, if we're going to get things moving once more, if we're going to get people behind, you know, our company supporting our companies, if we're going to bring them back to what they were, you know, previously, then we need to stop associating ourselves with all this left wing, you know, SJW woke agenda nonsense. You know, because at the end of the day, the message is going to get cleared. Or it's going to be cleared on all these behalfs. You know, what's going on, you know, with Washington and the House being Republican now. And, you know, and then you got all these other things that I've mentioned, like with Elon Musk taking on Twitter and uh, uh, buying, you know, running Twitter and David Zaslav running Warner Brothers and other things similar to that happening. Basically, at the end of the day, the message is going to get out loud and clear. Hey, you know, the, the era of the SJW, the woke, you know, the left-wingness, you know, the, those days, that era is over. And oh, by the way, you know, we get what you were trying to say, you know, and we understand. You know, we understand the message, but, you know, no longer will you use politics or entertainment or social media to spread that message. That's going to be... Pretty much, a, that's going to be pretty much be the answer at the end of the day when the dust is settled between all three factors here. It's going to get, you know, uh, it's going to be basically, that's basically going to be a message that's going to be 
heard loud and clear, whether people want to hear it or not. But yeah, a lot of things are changing, and all I can say is Joe, Joe Biden, I know you may not watch this video, but if I'm you, my friend, and that's hard for anybody to say about you now, I would second, I would second guess a re-election, a re-election campaign because, my friend, you are, you, what you're about to inherit, or what you're about to gain, I should say, in going into 2023, that could, like I said, that could politically could be the end of you. So, I would highly, highly reconsider doing another campaign, another run of re-election, because it don't matter if it's Trump, don't matter if it's De Santos or whoever runs against you, whether it's Democrat or Republican, I don't think you're going to win. And that's a fact. That is a fact. I mean, let's be honest. The error of the old school guard when it comes to politics, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, is basically coming to an end. And a new generation of politicians is coming in and they're saying, hey, look, what you use, you know, what you uh, want to do may have worked in the old days, you know, back 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, but now it's a new dawn, it's the dawn of a new day, it's a new century and everything, it's a new year, things have changed very rapidly, and we got to roll with it. So, yeah, things are changing, and, uh, Again, like I said, the biggest, you know, message that I think is going to get sent to a lot of people is, hey, your run of using, po you know, your error, your time of using politics to spread your message of wokeness, SJWness, left-wingness, doesn't matter if it's, you know, in politics or, you know, social media entertainment, it's over. Because, you know, we get the message. You want equality, you want to say that women are just as good as men, and da 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 that's fine, fine, that's fine, okay. Look, look, we got the message, we get it. But it's time to stop using all these outlets to pretty much send that message across because we get it. And, you know, that's coming to an end. You know, you know that's coming to an end. And like I said, it looks like very slowly, if not quickly, the old school way of thinking you know, political-wise, it's coming to an end, too. You know, basically, because, you know, you got Pelosi gone, you got Fauci gone, potentially Biden's going to be gone. Yeah, I think a lot of them are realize. I think a lot of people are realizing, yeah, as long as we have these people in power and others like them, we ain't going to get any way, f we ain't, we ain't going to progress any further in, in the future of this country. So... That's all we wanted to say on it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Live chat during the premiere. Chat below. Uh, comment down below. Support me over at Venmo at Brian Roma 2 Cash app at BW Roses 98. Also, check me out at BW Roses Discussions. All your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora, where you will get a podcast version of this as well. An audio one, that is. Also, check me out at Vimo at BW Roses for content you can't get on YouTube. At my Teespring store for merchandise just in time for the holiday season. Also, check me out at uh, patreon.com slash bwroses with a $1 or $3 tier. And I'm potentially going to do a Q&A $5 tier in the future, but I'm still thinking about that. Just, you know, expect an announcement if it does happen. But until next time, guys, I, I will talk to you all later, and you all have a good day. Peace out. God bless.